Hey guys, it's your boy Joe back at it again, codingphase.com. In this video, we're going to talk about what exactly is the role of a content editor, web producer, webmaster, right? There's a lot of names for the same type of position, and it really comes down to basically somebody that manages a website, okay? We have developers who are the people who create the website and the you know technology and the logic behind a website. We also have designers who create what we look at the design the colors the typography right and then we have the content editors the people who are actually using this websites as a tool right uh, that have been created by other web developers and then they're able to go in and upload uh, different content to the website it could be a website like this this is vogue.com uh, this is a mixture of like a magazine type website right where they have different articles there's people who are copywriters the copywriters are the people who actually write the content like you see all of this these are people who are actually writing the content and a lot of times there's going to be a content editor who actually goes and uploads the the articles right so let's say for example a copywriter writes an article then they send it to the company there's probably an editor who looks at the content then from there they send it to the content editor and the content editor or again we're going to use content editor but it could be a title of web producer webmaster etc the job of the content editor is to go in and place it on the website okay go over it make sure maybe there's no spelling make sure that the right images are being uploaded uh that the right features are being added sometimes you might see like there might be a slider right so instead of having how we're seeing right now multiple images like this you might see a slider that has multiple images inside of the slider okay um you might have a website like this one the miami heat where they have all type of different content right this one is actually built with Shopify and what they do is they can sell the products here, but also too, you have other things like, you know, media, like news, video, right? Um, photos, wallpapers, all of these things are added by the content editor. Okay. So again, the role of a content editor is to manage the website. The developers build it, the designers design it, but the content editor is the one that's actually going to be managing the website and you know uploading new content and if it's an e-commerce website changing the prices and you know setting up discounts setting up coupon codes uh creating landing pages for let's say for emails that uh might need you know some type of landing page to capture the person's emails etc right there's so many different things that you could be doing as a content editor but all you have to think about is that your job is to manage the website okay now again for somebody that's looking to become a web developer this is a great way for you to get started on your journey because at the end of the day this is something that will give you uh, some type of experience as a web developer okay you will understand how the web works you will understand how uh, this websites work you will have something that you can show for and say hey I actually worked on NBC.com and I managed you know their content I was able to manage their videos I was able to manage their photos we set up different uh, schedule for different type of content to show up on the weekends on on a Friday on a Wednesday weekdays etc right now you have some experience okay same thing over here we have this website Fox News again this is another uh, company that also uh, uses CMS right so all of this is basically like a magazine type of uh, different type of website right but in reality somebody has to upload this video somebody has to go in and put these articles up okay and that's the job of the content editor okay same thing over here we have gymshark.com it's a website built by uh, using Shopify they're also using contentful okay which is another CMS we're gonna talk about all of that later on in the course but you know what's interesting is that you see all of these companies are using some type of CMS to manage their content okay uh, again we also have this website called geeks for geeks uh, another thing that you could check out is square square also uses I believe contentful 
And then from there, you could go to websites like this one, contentful.com, and you could look at the customers, the companies that are actually using them. You have Atlassian, uh, Shiseido, Equinox. You have uh, Moonpig, Dr. Smile, Align, Staples, right? You have SAS, Equinox, right? You have a whole bunch of different companies that potentially could be companies that you could apply for for being a content editor, okay? Because this is what they're using. Now, in this course, we're going to be teaching you guys how to use Contentful. We're going to teach you how to use WordPress. We're going to teach you how to use uh, Shopify so you can have all of those things on your resume and say, hey, I know how to use all of this different type of CMS systems and I can definitely manage your website. OK, so again, there's a lot of different companies that use uh, Contentful and Shopify and, and all of this different type of CMS. All right. So that's pretty much it when it comes to the role of a content editor. That's what you do. Now, there's going to be situations where you will be needing to write some code, but you're not hired as a full time developer. Right. So the full time developer is the one that's creating new features, uh, killing bugs. Your job is to create things like the one that we're seeing here. Right. On this section here for Vogue magazine, you might have to go in there and write, you know, some type of HTML CSS to make sure that this looks like this. It has the two out of 15. Sometimes uh, if the plugins that this CMS already has, you know, it might provide you those things. But there's going to be times that you're going to have to go in there and write HTML CSS on your own. And there's going to be situations where you might even have to use some JavaScript. Most likely you won't have to, but there's going to be some situations where you will have to use JavaScript. So again, uh, your job is not going to be as like, Hey, I'm coding all day. Your job is to manage the website. And when you need to use something that's custom, then from there you go in and you start writing your HTML and CSS. Okay. So that's the role of a content editor. Now, again, this is a great way for you guys to get started. And yeah, man, I can't wait to continue in this course and show you guys all of the different things uh, that you guys can do as a content editor in all of these different platforms. All right. I'm going to see you guys in the next video. Bye.